Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. And it's a beautiful morning out here. So the day starts on two batteries. Hundred watts coming off of the two batteries at the moment and that would be those two batteries 600 amp hours just a few solar panels and a few batteries and it's all pretty simple and I use this one battery for long to long term food storage which is this five cubic foot freezer packed full Maybe that will be for dinner, or maybe that will be, but yeah, one battery just to keep months worth of food ready. And I use this one battery for quite a bit more. 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. And it also runs some high powered electric cooking with this air fryer, which that when it's running is over 1600 watts and that one battery runs that easily. As well as running this 24 seven, it is never turned off and there's always plenty of power. So yeah, there's no reason to really overthink living on solar. It doesn't take that much to have all the comforts that you would want and very simple. Yeah, don't overthink it. Those four batteries run everything that I need out here very easily. All of these components have come a long way over the years and the great thing for all of us is um, they're all becoming so much more affordable than they used to be. You know, 30 years ago it was very, very expensive to get into solar, not so much anymore. And you can start small, add on as you can afford. And the only thing to really overcome is the addiction part of this whole process, because uh, once you start, you're always going to want a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> As if those of you that have been watching me for a while know, <laughs> it's hard to stop, but it's fun. And you always have the, you know, the comfort of being your own power station. I mean, 30 years ago, we never thought of making coffee with a coffee maker because, you know, the coffee makers took so much power. Uh, we were all on lead acid and, you know, we'd pour our coffee through a cone filter, just heat up some water and pour it through there. And that works just fine, too. But, you know, nowadays, no problem. Run a coffee maker. That's kind of nice. Yeah, things have changed for the better. So when I first moved out here, there was absolutely no power to this place. It didn't look anything like this. All of this roof line has, and uh, the addition of this side of the house and that side of the house is something that I've added. It was just a small 16 by 24 shack. Uh, didn't have any windows or anything in there. Zero power. I was only out here for a few weeks before I made the trip to a different side of the island where there was a little solar shop picked up a few panels and a few batteries just so I could get kind of powered up and then you know 16 17 years later I am where I'm at now so yeah I didn't do it all in one fell swoop I only did what I could afford as time went by and now the way it's set up everything will probably outlive me and I wouldn't change the off-grid life for anything and I wouldn't really have to have these multiple systems. I've, I've liked adding, a f having a few different systems running this place for the redundancy in case anything does break down. I've also, I've got a lot of spare parts and, and different things that I can do, move things around and stay up and running. I haven't really had that problem whatsoever, so I'm just very happy running a few different systems for a few different things. 
and I've enjoyed showing you guys, you know, how I've stumbled across and become, uh, you know, a little more efficient in the way I run things. But yeah, this could all be just one system and that'd be fine. But I like having a bunch of extra parts ready just in case. It's a simple way of life, but I've got everything that makes me comfortable. And I am looking forward to what new style of battery might come out in the future that's even better than uh, the lithium iron phosphates that we're all running now, but uh, heck, they're gonna last a long time. I'm three over three years in now using them full time. Uh, no problems whatsoever. So yeah, I catch and pump rainwater. I filter it down for all of my household uses. And even when the clouds roll in, kind of cover up the sun, no problem. Already got plenty of power stored up from the, the earlier part of the day. This battery at 82%, still charging. I'm good to go. Uh, this one at 90%, good to go. 89%, yeah, everything's fine. You know, I use all very efficient stuff. All of my lights in the place, you know, that thing draws like six watts. Super efficient, super cheap. It's good to be running like this because you have to relax quite a bit when you're out here. Because sometimes there just feels like there's nothing to do. And even if there is something, you just don't feel like doing it. Living simply. Catch you guys later. Aloha. Ain't that right, P? Hey. Pretty easy? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy.